And now, Privates, with an episode called Family Affairs. Hello, I'm Jake Cotton, private detective. I've been hired by the mother of my girlfriend, Dame Judy Bench. Uh, Judy's the girlfriend, uh, not the mother. To find her missing fortune, her being the mother. The mother being Dame Cordelia Bench. Someone has been taking the money. I couldn't figure out who. But I followed Frank Berry, Cordelia's beau, who was forced upon me as a partner. And I discovered the culprit. I can still smell the scent of laundry. Ten days ago. Oh, here they are, boss. Oh, I'm sorry, I just... Wayne Bench. Jake Cotton. Ah, uh, so we know one another. It seems so. Oh, good. Well, everything's you settled then. Sit down. All right, but just for a second. Why are you in my laundry, Jake? Why are you stealing money from your ex-wife? I'm not stealing anything. It's my money. Not according to the divorce agreement. I earned it. Cordy came from nothing, and she made nothing during the marriage. Now, just a minute. I won't sit here and let you talk about my Cordelia that way. Hey, yo. Shut up. Sure. (laughs) Sure. Sure. As long as my complaint's been registered. I don't see why you're still acting like you care about Dame Cordelia. You betrayed her and helped Wayne steal her fortune. You can't possibly think that of me. Don't deny it. Why else would you be here? To protect what Cordy loves most. Which is? <laughs> Some detective you are, Jake Cotton. Frank had nothing to do with my activities, but he's shown a surprising amount of spine standing up to me. Not that it will do him or anyone any good. Why not? You know my reputation. Yes. You think a smuck like him can do anything against a businessman like me? (laughs) Businessman? You mean mobster? Hey, yo, shut your mouth. (laughs) It's all right, Louie. Yeah, Jake, I am a mobster. And you know what happens to people who mess with mobsters. Then I don't get it. Why did you come here, Frank? I... Oh, Jake, I... Because he's working for me, of course. But, but, but you just said that To he... stop you from figuring things out. He failed, like he does at almost everything he tries. Why, Frank? Oh, I'm sorry, Jake, but I had to. I, I don't understand. Go ahead, Frank. Tell him. Let the detective see just how bad he is at his job. Well, Jake, you see, when I went to the bank... Back at the beginning of the case? Yes. I was able to get a look at the records. Well, it didn't take much to figure out where Corey's fortune was going. Wayne's shell company names are pretty obvious if you know the family. Petuti Enterprises. Uh, Petuti? I I don't... Judy's middle name, after her great aunt. (laughs) Judy Petuti? (laughs) She never told me that. So, once I ditched you that day, I came and confronted Wayne and, well, we made a deal. What kind of deal? I keep you off his trail and he leaves Judy out of it all. Oh. Judy is... What Cordelia cares about most, yes. And Theodore... Was working for Wayne all along. I had to make sure Judy's involvement with him wasn't already happening, but, well, Theodore confirmed he never told her he was working for her father. Oh. And I've honored that agreement and left her out. But since you failed, Frank, oh, I... Get... Wayne, no, you can't. You just can't. She can't... Can, 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 uh, can we make the same deal, Wayne? No. I dropped the case, and you leave Judy out of it. No. No, I don't think so. Come on. You have this whole empire. You don't need her. She's my daughter. And a daughter needs her father. Well, she has me. <laughs> I... Frank does seem like a better father figure than a mobster, somehow. Mm. You you want me to kill him now, boss? Mm. (laughs) I haven't decided yet. Wait. Let me sweeten the pot. I keep your secrets. You leave Judy alone. And I work for you. Do some detectiving from from, uh, time to time. Why would I 
hire a detective who couldn't even solve this case. We do the detectiving. Together, we're unstoppable. <sighs> Fine. Hiding bodies is tedious work. I could use a couple of detectives I don't have to pay on the payroll. Well, I didn't say you wouldn't have to pay don't us. Don't push your luck. Bro Pono, of course. <laughs> Well, I was going to say gentlemen, but the term doesn't apply. Hmm. It seems we've come to an agreement. I will not reach out to Judy, and you will work for me. You can go. Louis, show them out. <laughs> sure thing, boss. So, that's how I solved the case. Sort of. I went home and sulked a bit. Didn't return Judy's calls that night. Made love to a bottle of scotch instead. It makes a more gentle partner. Is that any way to talk about Judy in oh. front of her mother? Oh, it's accurate. And that's how Frank betrayed me. For a good cause. Frank, why didn't you tell me that's who was blackmailing you? Oh, well, I didn't want to hurt you, Snookums. Oh, you never could, baby. Ew. Gross. Oh, don't be a prude. Oh. Never. So, I'm sorry, Judy. I shouldn't have thought that you were showing up just to distract me. Oh, I was. What? Yeah. <laughs> Frank told me when he needed you out of the way and I sent Judy. But Judy, you didn't know why she sent you? I just assumed Frank was annoying you and Mother was giving you a break. What better break than with me? True. Even if you've literally broken a bone or two. <laughs> Besides, those distractions were just as fun for me as they were for you. All right, so I guess the price to keep my daughter away from that monster is to be poor again. Well, I can live with that. Well, Wayne said he'll leave you the few million you do have left. Like I said, poor. <laughs> Sorry, Jake, I can't afford to give you a cut. It's all right. I have everything I need right here. <laughs> Me too. Don't worry, Cordy. I think you've already gifted Jake something far more valuable. Hey, I am not property to be given away. I was talking about me. Oh. Together, there's no case we can't solve. Right, Jake? Uh, um, uh, about that. Oh, you want to officially make me a full-time partner? Well, I gladly accept. Oh, Frank. Uh, that's not what I want. I'll call the detailer to change the name on the door tomorrow morning. Oh, we must celebrate. I'll have the cook whip up something fantastic. I suppose we'll have to let dessert chef go, though. It's all right, Muffin. We can survive with a smaller staff. You're right, Frank. We can. As long as we have each other and the masseuse. Especially Brian. Uh, excuse me? One thing I don't understand, Jake. <laughs> what you told us only accounts for a day or two. Where have you been for this past week and a half? Uh, you know me. Sometimes I need the brood. Hmm. I couldn't tell her the truth. After the scotch the next morning, uh, well, all right, afternoon. I realized I couldn't let it stand. What Wayne was doing to Judy and Cordelia just wasn't right. So, I set about trying to find a way to stop him. I hear you have some information for us. I do. About the theft of a very large sum of money. Mm, I've read the report and your statement. Tell me what isn't in it. I love Judy Bench. And there's nothing I wouldn't do to help her. Good. Because we're going to need a lot from you. You want me to work the case with you? <laughs> no. Bad as it may seem to you, the FBI doesn't really care about someone stealing from their ex. A little below their pay grade. Then, uh, then what would I possibly... We do care about organized crime and their many and varied dealings. Oh. It's quite fortuitous you came to us, Jay Cotton. We've been looking for an in with Wayne Bench's dealings. Having his private detective on the books is helpful. Uh, I don't think he'll use me that much. You'd better hope he does. If you ever want your mother-in-law's fortune back. Oh, uh, Judy and I aren't married. I don't care. What I do care about is catching this guy and taking down every single person that ever worked for him. That sounds like a big job. Massive. Good thing for you, we've already got a head start. Our last mole provided quite a lot of intel. Your last mole? What happened to him? Same thing that happened to the previous three. We don't know. <laughs> Probably at the bottom of a river with three slugs in him. Oh, my God. <laughs> They'll turn up eventually. 
They were low lives too. Everyone that gets into bed with Wayne Bench is. I'm only in bed with his daughter. Again, I don't care. You're connected. And you need us as much as we need you. So you'll do what we ask. Fine. And you won't tell your partner, girlfriend, or anyone else what you're up to. Why not? You want to end up at the bottom of the river too? No, but I... Think about it. I've studied these people. You're honestly willing to bet your life that none of them would ever betray you? Well, when you put it that way... Good, we're on the same page. Now, I'm going to send you to boot camp for a few days, uh, and then... Boot camp? Well, no offense, but you clearly have a lot to learn about being a spy. I'm a detective. Exactly. We want this to be successful, so we're going to help you. Get you ready so you might have a chance of making it out alive. <sighs> All right. Good. Glad you see it our way. Go home, get some rest. Be back here tomorrow, 7 a.m. sharp. Okay. And don't just walk in the front door this time. He may be watching you. Uh, okay. There's a deli across the street. Go get a breakfast sandwich. And I'll send an agent to walk you through a tunnel over here. <laughs> Should I wear a certain hat or something as a signal? <laughs> We're the FBI, not some low-rent television show. Oh, uh, thank you, Agent Gardner. <laughs> My pleasure. You're fighting the good fight now, Jake Cotton. Wow, Jake working with the feds to take down a mobster? Seems like season three is going to be pretty interesting. Come back for... <clears throat> oh, there, there's more. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Daddy. Judy, what brings you here? I want in. Oh, baby girl, I knew you took after me. One question, though. How do I know you're not just here to play me and help your mother? She's kept me away from you for long enough. Lied to me about who you were, where you were. I didn't even know you were still in town until yesterday. Why would I stay loyal to someone like that? Uh-huh. And that boyfriend of yours. I love him. I really do. But he's so easy to distract. <laughs> Hopefully not too easy. He's working for me now. And I can turn his head any way I want. So he won't be a problem. Problem? <laughs> He'll be an asset. <laughs> Welcome back to the family, Jude Bug. <laughs> is that, is that? Yep, we're good. The end. <laughs> it's all been done in Radio Hour number 377. Privates number 13, Family Affairs was written by Jerome Wetzel and directed by Samantha Stark. It starred Keith Jackson as Detective Jake Cotton, Shane Stavanchik as Frank Barry, Kristen Green as Dame Judy Bench, Samantha Stark as Dame Cordelia Bench, Megan Overall as Mary Louise, Chase McCants as Wayne, and Nathan Haley as Louie. The theme song for Privates was composed by Kristen Green. Our technical director is Shane Stefanchik, music director Kristen Green, and the podcast was edited by Chris Allen. Please check out our website, it's all been done radio hour dot com. Uh, part of the It's All Been Done Presents network found at iabdpresents.com. You can support us at patreon.com slash iabd. Make sure you go to boxlandmedia.com and check out all their great programs as well. Boxland Media is It's All Been Done Radio Hour's current performance space so come see us perform there our next show is saturday october 15th at 5 p.m have a great week it's all been done presents who's got the time